uh, hi this is the NetApp training so for the cluster mode data on tap so when you opt for the training from the NetApp cluster or data on tap you get a this is the training console which you get you have 15 modules in which you have to configure about all the clusters and uh, this is the lab environment you get in the NetApps so here are the some exercises objectives and tasks how to perform those tasks for all the cluster setups so what here I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the cluster and uh, let you know so in this we have four nodes one two three four and one windows host one linux host and what we are going to do in this first video is we are going to start the set up the cluster and uh, then we are going to join this node to the cluster so let's start with our cluster setup from the so this is the node plus node of the cluster and uh, you can you have to start it by okay it's uh, now this is the first one so we just have to create you just have to create the first cluster you cannot join because there is no cluster which exists right now and as obviously we don't want a single node cluster so we are going to say to no then uh, yeah we, s we are going to use the defaults to proceed then it will take some time to create the cluster <laughs> So this is by watching this video you can configure the cluster and for the C dot. So now you have to enter the name of the cluster. So we will just going to use cluster one. Then uh, okay, we need also base license. So this is the information which you need, like base license, then all the cluster information, like which port you are going to use, which IP addresses which you are going to use, what is the gateway then what is the DNS domain which we are going to use and IP address of that for both node 1 and node 2 so this is the basic information you require so this is the base license which I am going to use to s start as of now so here you go this is what we are creating the cluster Once the cluster has been created, now we have to configure the cluster management resources on this particular cluster. So let's see how it is. Okay. Start the system. Alright. We don't want to enter any additional licenses as of now. Then uh, we have to set the password. Uh, so I need to set my password. Okay, now you have to configure. Like, yes, I'm going to use this port as my management cluster interface. Then, IP addresses I'm going to use is this one. Subnet mask is 255, 255 or 255.0. That I'm going to use. My gateway is 192.168.0.1. Uh, the DNS domain uh, this is given by the, the NetApp themselves and so I'm going to use theirs directly so this is the mm, server IP address so as control locator it's that have you maybe been tapping your city, I guess. Now, the second interface I'm going to use is your EF. Now, the IP address is 192.168.0.95. This is the IP address I'm going to use. Then, the interface net subnet mask is 55.0. Mm, gateway will be the same. 192.168.0.1. Mm, 
uh, you have to log in as admin because this is what you do in cluster mode so password which you have already set up on this so we'll say you are in the cluster now this is how the cluster is so right now we just have one node so and this is what it's showing so now we are going to try we are trying to build the second node for this particular cluster so this is the node which I'm going to use to join to the cluster which I just created so this is my node 2 node 2 and I'm going to Okay, I know now I want to join this cluster. Maybe before this, you have to enter the cluster setup command for when you go to the real environment, and then you can click on join. And I'm going to join it directly. Yes, I'm going to use the default systems. Uh, how to it will ask you the cluster name for which you are which you have to join and we have created the, the cluster one so yes we are going to join the cluster one network all right so this is what you have so and this is what we are going to join cluster one now once this is done you have to do the configuration of the nodes like I have this one node 2 on the IP addresses which I need and the ports which I'm going to use the node management ports so it's joining the cluster now I'm just going to make these videos for how to configure the net netapp C dot. That's it. No theory, please. Alright, it's taking a bit of time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now you have to. change the you have to enter the interfaces which you are going to use and the IP addresses so yes I'm going to use this interface the IP address which I'm going to use is 163.0.22 and then second mask is obviously yeah I'm going to use this one Now again, you have to log in as admin with the same password which you have set on the node one. So now we are in the cluster, and so we have two clusters now. This is one node one, node two, one cluster with the two nodes. So this is the two node cluster we have as of now. Now you can also check the network interfaces which uh, we have created. Uh, so these are the network interfaces which we have created. This is the cluster management IP. This is cluster zero one node two. And now what we are going to do is we have to first the first thing after the setup has been completed, you would like to do is you have to stop the turn off the snapshot on the wall zeros. So, so we have we should have the two aggregate as of now for aggregate zeros these are the two aggregates aggregate zeros for these two nodes and now we are going to do is we are going to turn off the uh, snapshot uh, the best thing about the 
uh, cluster data on tab is you don't need to enter everything you can you know just use tabs to get over to the like my system is hung around. System. Sorry for that. And cluster one. Alright, I do sorry, I think it's not showing it. Snap. You have to do the snap results there to set to the zero, but before that, you have to turn off the snaps. Snap on. So this is done. Now you have to do this on the same cluster second, second node. Now put these snaps are. Oh, now we have what we are going to do is we are going to sn set snap reserve for this wall put the wall zeros to zero percent so you can access all the nodes by using the same console so now as we are done now we are going to do, do is we have to check okay these are the two aggregates we have these are the defaults aggregates which they are created so we are going to rename these aggregates so that it will be better for us to recognize aggregate Whichever you want to give, like you give zero underscore and one. This is the one we choose. So, it's so okay. It's done. Now we have to rename the second aggregate in this cluster. Okay. And zero underscore and two. So this is how we are going to keep it. So now if you check the aggregates, it will show you the renamed aggregates for both, which is whatever we have, which we have set to. And this is the size we have, as of now it's uh, 900 MB, so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, increase the size, but before that we have to add the disks to this particular uh, aggregate. Um, Disks, uh, disk, hyphen, aggregate, aggregate, and one, hyphen, discount. So I'm going to add three disks to this first aggregate, then I'm going to add two disks to the Sorry, three disks to this second aggregate as well. So now I have added disks. So now I'm going to increase the size of the my these ag aggregate uh, volumes. I have to increase it to like it's like around one gig. So now we will increase it to to increase it by two gigs. So just to make it three gig. System. First of all, size 